guys, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here and you want to improve your photography, then why not hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell. So let's get on with the topic of today's video. So I was contacted by a member of the community and they asked how I improved my audio. So I thought I'll give you a quick rundown of why my audio sound a lot clearer and hopefully a lot more professional. So guys, this is my setup with the Focusrite Scala 2i2, third generation, two input and two output USB auto interface. It's a very small unit and very easy to use. So let's take you around the front. Oh, first of all, let me apologize for all the wires because at the moment, this is recording my video to you so bear with me so around the front as you can see it has two input ports here and at the moment i've got my microphone plugged into this one so this one is live and as you can see as i'm speaking the light flashes so this light is acting like a level switch if it becomes too too loud and starts to clip it'll indicate by going red, which is a nice visual cue to make sure your audio is at the right level. Toddle between instrument or microphone. So at the moment, because at the moment I'm using a microphone, so I've got it switched on to air. It's very useful because I am a guitarist, so I can literally plug my guitar lead into here, and that will hook up to my computer. As an interface very useful and next also to this you have the on this side you have the stereo oh, mono 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 switch at the top here we have a button which is used for phantom power so if your microphone doesn't come with power and needs power then just switch the 48 volts on and here we have a large dial and here on the side we have the volume switch for the microphone or the headphone output. Around the back of the nice chassis we have three controls or three outputs. The first one has the USB USC connection to the computer. And then on this side we have left and right output, which for me these outputs are going straight into my camera. So the whole system is controlled from the interface. And that way I can just have one file, audio file and video file together. I should also add that I've also improved my microphone. So now I'm shooting with the Rhodes NT1A, which is a super super microphone i managed to get it second hand but it's working fine guys i know it wasn't about photography per se today but it was about my setup i hope you found that useful and as always guys stay safe and happy shooting